Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another look with this same palette. This is the Makeup Revolution Chilled with Cannabis Sativa palette. So last time I did a look with this, I stuck to more of like a green look. And today I did more of like an everyday makeup look like this. I focused on like the gold shades. So yeah, if you guys want to see me get this makeup look, same palette, different look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to be doing a different look using the same palette. So I'm going to be using this Makeup Revolution Chilled with Cannabis Sativa palette again. This is what it looks like. So last time I did a look with this palette, I did the green. <coughs> I did the green shades. And so I thought this time I would do something different. So I think I'm going to go more for like these golds for like Haze and Acapulco. Um, Huff maybe. So yeah. So we always buy like new palettes and I just feel like, which I love obviously, but... I do feel like you can get so many looks from one palette, so why not film another one using the same palette? So anyways, I'm also going to be using a lot of the same products because might as well. And you can get different looks with the same products. You get it, okay. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer and prime the face. But I'm just going to focus this on like this area and then I'm gonna go in with like a pore filling for for this area <laughs> basically spit it out just because I have larger pores in that area so I like to use something for that and so for this area I'm just gonna use this Smashbox photo finish smooth and blur I'm almost out, so I'm just going to use up the rest of it. <coughs> it's so funny. I was telling my husband yesterday like, how good my skin is doing, how proud I was. And then it's like every single time I say that, it starts like flaring up on me. I like woke up with like a few new blemishes it's just so annoying it's like I need to stop saying that because I swear every single time so actually I think I'm gonna start do a little different today I think I'm gonna start with the eyes and then we'll do the face later so first things first I'm going to go in with relax and just work that all in my crease I just colored my hair a bit darker yesterday because I went blonde and it seems like I just cannot get it like completely out. My ends will end up turning like a really light color so my husband actually colored it for me. It's matching my extensions much better. I just recently I just started putting in like one piece just to like thicken it up a little because I just have really thin, fine hair. I use the Bellamy Silk Seam extensions, which I really love because I don't like, you know, when your just head starts to feel like real bulky. These like are really fine and so they like lay on your head really nice. So I highly recommend those extensions and I've had quite a few in the past. These are my favorite so far. So I'm just working that. I plugged an eyebrow, pinched myself right there. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to take cool and I'm gonna work that all along 
the outer corner and bring it in. If you guys haven't already heard this, I just find it super fascinating. It says, hemp is one of the strongest and most durable of all nature textile fibers. It's less expensive to produce as paper than trees and lasts longer than most fabrics and while also being able to withstand harsh conditions. That's not all though. Hemp can be used as biodiesel, biofuel, is an incredible nutritious food in seed oil and mixed form, can be made into biodegradable products, and can even grow without fertilizer or pesticides along with many, many more benefits. That's crazy. So basically this guy, William Randolph Hearst, he owned paper mills and a newspaper company and it was gonna cost him millions of dollars to switch to like hemp products. So instead of switching, which would be better for the world, he printed like all of this false information in his newspapers so that we would make it illegal, which is just crazy. So these things are still illegal. So he basically like tr tricked them into signing this, but they printed in the papers that the Mexicans were taking these crazy drugs called marijuana and then like raping these white women. It's just crazy, just crazy. It kind of blew my mind when I heard that for the first time. I'm like, what? And it's just like, we're still dealing with like so many of those problems now that this one guy forever ago created. It's like insane to me. Oh, mind blown. But if you haven't checked that out, go listen to Joe Rogan tell you because he can explain this way better than I can. But yeah, very interesting. Okay, so I'm just taking Burn, that dark brown, and I'm gonna work that on my outer corner. I feel like Joe Rogan has taught me so many things. Where he just like shed some light on on a lot of stuff. It's like he's just like changing the world, you know? I'm a big fan. I think like everybody could be a little more open-minded about a lot of things, you know? Not everything's just so like cut and dry. And everybody like freaks out like, oh, you people like abuse marijuana and it's like, People abuse a lot of things and a lot of things that are like way worse for you. That's my rant. Okay, so I'm just blending all of that out. I never really have a vision of what I'm going to do, you know, I just start doing things. I'm just taking that same cool shade. Sorry, with all the, like, the hiccups or, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to bring my mirror just a little closer so I can see a little better what is going on. So I want to try this. I got this j cat beauty lock and seal liquid makeup setter so it's supposed to help lock the pigment in and make it more intense and i forgot i actually got it so i want to try that and really intensify these gold shades it's crazy to see that apparently i'm just talking about joe rogan today but he's moving out of la but it is weird, like, how many people are leaving L.A. But things there are a little more strict than I think a lot of places, not to mention the amount of taxes. And I think they said that they were going to raise them. So I can only imagine people from L.A. who make a lot of money can go live like kings in some other places. I think one of the reasons um, he mentioned was because of he wants to do comedy. Um which Dylan and I, for his 30th birthday, 
just last year we went to the comedy store which was really cool so i'm really glad that we got to experience that we went and saw joey diaz who is so funny the room that we were in was like really small and just seemed like really intimate it was really really cool really cool experience i really miss that like concerts and shows we had planned to go to quite a few this year um sturgill simpson and tyler childer childers childers however you say his last name um we're coming to missoula um here in montana so we were super excited we love sturgill we love tyler but you know corona so that's sad but i do miss that i miss the feeling of going to a like a really good concert. We went to, a couple of years ago, we went and saw Incubus and Jimmy Eat World at Red Rock Amphitheater. If you haven't been to Red Rock Amphitheater, you need to go at some point in your life. You know, obviously when everything's back to normal, but it was like one of the best nights of our life. Like, uh, it's just magical. It's really, really magical being there it's like emotional like i cried it's not hard for me to cry because i'm kind of a baby but i think even dylan cried <laughs> i don't know if you'd want me to tell you all that but it was beautiful and we're just emotional people okay i poured this into the cap and now i have nowhere to set it so um that wasn't smart but yeah i'm just taking that lock and seal and i'm gonna go in to the shade Haze. I really love these Makeup Revolution palettes. I feel like they're really pretty. They blend really, really nice. Um, they, When you swatch them, they just feel like really buttery. They're really beautiful. I love that you get this full, big mirror and they're so affordable. I think I put that on my brush and that lock and seal. Oh, maybe that side. Didn't really pick up much of that product, so let's just try that. Oh, there we go. So I'm just working that all over the lid. Hmm. It was such a beautiful day today in Montana. I feel like it's starting to cool down. Well, at least it was cool today. It just makes me so excited. Cue the pumpkin spice lattes. Did any of you guys have a pumpkin spice cold brew from Starbucks last year? Oh my god. That is like my new favorite, favorite drink. I loved it. Especially like the first one I had. I feel like sometimes... They are better in different places, but the first one I had, oh, it was so, so good. It was like the perfect amount of everything. Um, the second one I had, they forgot to put the cinnamon on top. I was disappointed. <laughs> but I did make some of my own cream, that like pumpkin cream that goes on top, and it was pretty good. I need to do that again this year. I'm just ready, you know. I'm over. I'm over summertime probably sick of hearing me say that but i am i just hate well i don't hate it but i just love 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 fall when the leaves start to change and you get to wear sweaters and watch halloween movies we'd actually have already watched casper and hocus pocus we have like a little usb stick that has a few movies on it i feel like i feel like i shouldn't have I feel like I shouldn't have put this on my brush and then gone into here. I don't know. I just feel like it feels different now and it kind of looks like it's like moving. I don't know. I hope I didn't ruin this shade. But anyways, we have like this little USB stick and it has like a few movies on it. So my brother um, gave it to us a few years ago and so anytime like we lose internet or like power or you know something happens or we like travel we'll like bust out this usb stick which has 
four movies on it. It has Cinderella, which ugh, the newer Cinderella. I love, love, love that movie. <sighs> and I love the the characters that they chose for that movie. I feel like Disney did such a good job with that movie. And then it has Hocus Pocus and Casper. And the last one was Inside Out. <laughs> so, yeah, we lost, uh, we lost our Wi-Fi one day. And so we watched all of those movies. <laughs> Which I just can never get tired of. I mean, Hocus Pocus, Casper, I mean, two of the best movies. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take this Acapulco shade. It's just like a little bit brighter. I don't know. This is so weird. The way that like the eyeshadow is like moving. Whatever. I already did it. What can I do? So I'm just putting that kind of on top. It's a little bit of a brighter gold. So I'm just working that in. Give it a little more pop of color. So now I'm going to take Relax, that first shade that we went into. And I'm just going to blend some of this out. Okay. And I'm going to take that dark brown shade and kind of blend out this outer corner a little bit more. <clears throat> Deepen it up a little bit. Ooh, that picked up a lot. Who still blows and who taps? I do both. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the face. So I'm just going to use this L'Oreal Infallible. I actually hadn't used this in a little bit um, because I've just been trying out other foundations and I re-wore this the other day and it just looked so stunning. This is such a good drugstore foundation. I'm in the shade 420. <laughs> I'm going to do a few pumps, use my trusty beauty blender, I mean doesn't that look so pretty? For like a $12 foundation, it's just so pretty, I love it. One of my favorites of this year. Let me know if you guys want like me to try out a specific brand or a foundation, I'd totally be down to do that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more and then just kind of go over just a little bit. I mean, can you guys tell how much better? Ooh. Almost said it. I'm not going to say it. I'm just working that all in. I'm going to try to cover up that little annoying little pinch dot. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in so long. I'm not very good at plucking them myself. Okay, now let's go in with some concealer. So I'm going to use a couple of... So I'm going to go in this... I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which I am almost out. This is a really good 
oldie but a goodie concealer. So I'm just blending that out. I feel like that 420 shade is like the perfect shade for me. Now I'm just gonna take just, yeah, a little bit of this Essence Camouflage Concealer and just do a tiny little dot. Brighten up that inner corner. Over that little dot. Okay. Now that we are all blended in, I'm going to take this peach perfect powder and just set my face. I've been seeing on TikTok a lot. I say that my husband laughs every time because I see so much on TikTok. <laughs> but I saw that Microsoft. Well, he actually told me that Microsoft bought out TikTok, so now everything is all good. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, I've been seeing on TikTok a lot of people have been doing like, like decades, like looks, which I really want to do that. I love... I love like the 50s, the 70s, 20s, 90s, so yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see, it's like a whole like look, hair, makeup, by decades. I love the way this powder smells. Okay. <clears throat> finished, finished. Now I'm going to take this Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm just going to bronze up the face. I dropped mine and broke it, but that's okay. I need to try the alcohol trick. Have any of you guys tried that? Does it work? Ooh, I picked up way too much. The ice cream truck. Does anybody else still have ice cream trucks? Is that just Montana? Got a little heavy handed on this side because I picked up a lot. I do love this bronzer though, and I'd hate to like waste it. I need to try, I need to try the alcohol or something. Okay, we are bronzed. Now I'm going to use this MAC Petal Power. It has a really nice sheen to it. 
<laughs> and I'm just going to take my little Lexi brush. This is the blush brush. My little friends are trying to make an appearance on my nose. If you have texture, you probably this will probably emphasize the texture, so I wouldn't recommend if you do, but I'm just trying to focus it more like a pie rather than like here. Because I do have texture in that area. And I like to take a little on the forehead and the nose. Kind of like highlighted it for us. This is really stunning. I feel like MAC products were like all the rage when I was in high school and now it's kind of like, hmm. I mean, they still have really nice stuff, just like it's not as popular as it used to be. Next time I use this I'm gonna have to try I don't know a different way because I don't know if I ruined that eyeshadow or I'm not sure I guess we'll find out. Okay moving on to the eyes again. I'm just going to take a little brush with relax on it. This does still have a little bit of the dark shade on it also. I'm just going to run that all along my bottom lash line. a little smaller one. <clears throat> I'm going to take that cool shade again. I want to do fake lashes today. No. No, 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 no. I'm going to wipe off my lips. And we can go in with some lip product. I do want to try the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. Let me know if you guys recommend that or not. Just to give us a little fuller lip. She doesn't love that these days. Okay. use this Stila lip product. This is the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Patina. It's the shade. Kind of already looks like 
my lip color. Ooh, I got the eyeshadow all in my eye. I'm gonna mix a couple of other ones. I'm just gonna use this like little e.l.f. nude lipstick just to lighten that up a little bit. I'm just going to hit it <clears throat> with some plumping gloss. They just came out, Too Faced, just came out with like an extreme version of the lip pump plumping. Or, what did I say? Extreme? Something like that. Max, I don't know. Whatever it is. <laughs> I want to try it. For a long time it was like matte lips were in. Everybody wanted matte. Now it's all about the gloss these days. Which I like. Okay. I almost forgot highlighter. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm just going to take my little duo. I want to get more shades in these little duos because I just love them. Keep the, I'm going to keep the highlight a little subtle today. I might actually go in with a little bit of this calm shade and then just pop that on like the highest part um so yeah i'm just gonna dip my brush into it just a little oh that's really pretty don't want to draw too much attention to my nose today. I just have like the little hiccups or something today or whatever that you want to call it. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to take that same calm shade and let's highlight our inner corner. And just hit. Okay. Now I'm going to spray my face before I put on mascara. So I'm just going to use that calming makeup fixing spray with the cannabis in it. I did see that they had a couple of new things. They had... A clear brow gel with the cannabis um, last time I used this one which maybe I'll just go ahead and hit it but yeah I need to try out the clear one and then they also had 
the like clear gel that you put on before you put mascara on, the primer. They had that one the same blowout. So I need to check those out. Makeup Revolution also came out with a new palette. It is a spiritual loud. <laughs> I can never talk. It's a spirituality one and it looks stunning. I cannot wait to get that one. Okay, so I'm just going in with this blowout mascara. My nails are kind of matching the vibe today. Very like witchy color. Love it. I broke two nails so sad. I feel like since I've been taking vitamins my nails have been growing so nice. This is a really good mascara. Highly recommend this one. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for just a second before I do the bottom, or else I'm just going to get this everywhere. That eyeshadow color made a really pretty highlight. going to take a different mascara for the bottom one just because that brush is kind of big <clears throat> so I'm just going to use this elf plumping mascara Okay guys, that completes this video on this makeup look. Let me know what you guys think and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!